you're riding a surfboard with a kite, then ultimately you want to be riding waves. And riding waves is far from easy. Traditional surfers spend years, decades, perfecting the art. And many of you are jumping in with little or no experience of surfing. So there's a lot to learn, both in understanding this new environment and how it fits with both a surfboard and a kite. What's so great is the kite gives us a big advantage over traditional surfers. We can catch far more waves with less effort. This gives you the opportunity to hone your skills quicker when waves are far from perfect, but where a kite makes all the difference. But a kite can also be a huge hindrance if you get it into the wrong position. Most often, if you are having issues with riding waves, it will be the kite position that is the problem. Understanding the coordination of your board, kite and the wave is crucial if you are to make the most out of any wave. This introductory video has a lot of important information to prepare you for taking on this challenge. If you haven't already, it's worth checking out our Carving Turns collection, as these videos are invaluable for getting the key skills which will transfer perfectly to when you are actually on a wave. Also, check out our practice progression, Playing in Waves, which will guide you through using your carving turns to achieve a single turn across a wave face. The techniques covered in this collection. This Riding Waves collection covers two main styles, front side and back side. Riding front side is where you face the wave on the bottom turn. Riding back side is where your back is to the wave on the bottom turn. We'll cover each in detail in its own video, ensuring you understand how to perform your first bottom turn before transitioning into a powerful top turn. Our final video in this collection will then look at connecting multiple turns on a wave for both the front side and back side turns. Most people will find that riding front side is easier as you can maintain power through the bottom turn, which is the foundation for riding a wave. Back side is more technical, requiring greater control when carving a tighter hillside bottom turn. And also you need more flexibility in your body to get into the correct position for the top turn. If possible, you want to first try riding waves on your front side, but obviously this depends on your stance and the wind direction in relation to the waves at your local break. Just like with carving turns, you'll find that your regular or goofy stance will make front side and back side riding stronger on specific tacks. If the wind is blowing from the right, regular riders will find front side easier. Goofy riders will find backside easier. If the wind is blowing from the left, goofy riders will find frontside easier, and regular riders will find backside easier. You'll progress quicker if you stick to your stronger stance, but you'll also find riding frontside easier when you're first riding waves. If you want to ride frontside on your weaker side, then ensure you've practiced your carving turns on flatter water on this weaker side first, so they feel more natural and you can hold the required power in the board's edge. Wind and waves. As you'll see, we have examples of Colin and Lee riding in waves of various size and power. Some are cleaner, others mushy and closing out. It's a good example of how every wave is unique and you need to be ready to adapt to the waves as they change through a session or from one beach to another. What we're trying to demonstrate in these videos is the fundamentals, which you can apply to waves of any size or shape. Just because these conditions aren't exactly like the waves at your home break, doesn't mean you can't understand the principles and apply them to various locations. We've also filmed most of the wave riding in cross or cross onshore winds. These conditions are the easiest to learn to ride waves. And once again, allow us to clearly show the key principles 
which you can apply to your local spot. Parking the kite. Overall, it'd be nice if once the kite had got us into position, that we could park the kite and it simply drift downwind as you surf the wave. This is definitely something to work towards if you favor this style of riding. And with more experience and wind that is cross shore or slightly offshore, this becomes easier to achieve. But to start with, you'll find you need to learn how to use the kite to generate power when you need it and when to allow it to back off when you don't. As your experience grows and you are able to stay on the wave face between turns, you'll be able to use more of the wave's power in place of the kite. But you'll still need to understand how to keep the kite in the correct place so it doesn't have a negative impact on your surfing. We'll touch lightly on when and how you may be able to part the kite and the connecting turns progression. Setup and prerequisites. Before you drop down a wave face and try linking bottom turns and top turns, there are a few basic skills we need to recap and then some important practice progressions you should try to gain experience playing in waves. First up, ensure you're comfortable riding at speed with your kite low, riding slowly with the board balanced and even stalling the board without falling in backwards. Powered carving turns on flat water, both tacks and starting toe side and heel side. This is the most important step and essential if you have any hope riding waves. Getting out over waves, both clean faces and white water. And finally, being able to ride towards a wave and performing the various carving turns on the wave face. Feeling confident and in control with these fundamental kite surfboard techniques is essential if you want to truly get to grips with riding waves with style and power. This is just an intro to the Riding Waves collection. Get the full frontside or backside fundamentals videos in the progression player. Find out how riding and control and your carving turns are essential steps in our full kitesurfing trailer. Progression Kitesurfing. Learn to ride waves the right way.